So this morning we're working on the door to the basement apartment and this door has some issues. We're, I'm going to show these to you and kind of explain what we're working on and how we're going to do it. So this door uh, is an access to the basement and it's not the original door. It's a slab probably from the 1950s. You can see it's uh, not hung very well. The hinges, um, those are actually old hinges from, they're probably the original hinges to uh, this uh, door frame, but they flipped them around so that they're on the outside of the, outside of the door. And, you know, it's, this door has been beat up. Um, if we look at the door jam here, you can see they tacked on this weather stripping on this side. This door jam has been probably kicked in or kicked out um, before. If we look, um, here we've got weather stripping on the inside. So this door used to swing inside. And there's some weather stripping here too. Um, you can see the old, you can see where the old you know, screw marks used to be, where the hinge went for this door. And so it would have swung out um, this way, which would have been really awkward for accessing a basement. And I'm sure that's why they flipped the door around. We do not like um, having the hinges on the outside for security purposes. Also, we need a door with a light in it that will uh, make it not feel so much like a dungeon in here. And there's just been way too many modifications and really just bad craftsmanship in how this door has been treated over the years. So the plan is we're going to actually put in a new uh, door and jam. So this this piece of wood here, which is Douglas fir, um, it's very thick. We will pull this out and I've got some uh, wood inside that's been seasoning for the last couple months and uh, we will use that. We'll actually have a very thick uh, door jam here. Uh, you know, probably a one to one and a half inch thick uh, jam and we will just uh, case this door and put it in and uh, see if we can make it fit. Our first order of business is taking this electrical down. And you can see where it goes through the brick molding there. Um, the brick molding has to come off in order for us to get the door jam uh, exposed and take the measurements for the rough opening. And um, so yeah, we got to pull this down first. So this wire is connected to this junction box here. So we need to disconnect that from the inside and we're going to end up moving that junction box and getting rid of this janky electrical. The electrical's gone and we see that we've got a junction box embedded in the casings and we've got this conduit, exterior conduit, that's going to have to be moved over to the left um, on the wall somehow. And uh, we'll worry about that when we do our electrical after the door. So we have a slight complication here, and that is that these hinges have been um, put into the brick molding to support them. So if we take the brick molding off, we're going to end up taking the door off uh, as well. And that creates a security issue for us, so we're going to have to figure out a workaround. Um, hopefully we get this all done today. So this door jam is one crazy improvisation after another. Um, pulling this weather stripping off here, trying to figure out what uh, wood has gone where, and I pull it back, and they've got this little fur strip in here with um, <laughs> screwed in, and they've they've pinned the uh, stripping between the board and the um, other jam there so just yeah okay so we have our original jam exposed here somewhere in here and I haven't found it yet are some wood blocks that are recessed into um, the brick and that's where the 
door jam att attaches to. When we pull this off, we will find those. You noticed earlier I pulled that threshold off and that was glued down. I had to chisel, it was right here. I had to chisel all that glue off. So the jam, this, this uh, width here, is about seven inches on the nose, which is good. We've got two by eights ready to go to rip down and uh, this will give us enough room to, to get those to fit in here. So we're demolishing the original jam and we have exposed the uh, some woodwork here that uh, and we, I mentioned earlier an attachment point where there'd be a block in the brick that we would nail to. Well, this is um, a piece of wood embedded in the brick, but what's interesting is that this nail is coming out. So this piece of wood was nailed to the outside of the jam, and in order to get this done, this means that they would have put the door jam up while they were still doing the brickwork um, for the home. So it's the only way I can think of that they would get these bricks on either side of it and get the door in place, uh, which is kind of fascinating. It's making our job a little harder here because um, we're going to have to figure out how to attach because this, this piece of wood's going to come out once I, uh, once I finish pulling this jam out. So. So that means we got to figure out another way to attach this to the brick. So uh, another problem for us to solve, but I think there's a, a way to do it. So this construction is just so crazy. We've got our embedded strip here that keeps the door jam from moving that way because it's nailed to it. But then they also put the bottom of the jam into this depression here in the stone and this thing was meant to last a very long time that thing was so solid um i had to get my saws all out and cut it into strips and pull it out piece by piece because it was just too too hard to pry out by itself um, whoever built this cared about what they're doing we are back from lunch and we have selected the lumber that we're using for the um, left and right sides of the jam. I planed a sixteenth of an inch off the inside so it's smooth. And then we notched out uh, an inch and a half for the uh, top of the jam. We're going to go uh, transfer the hinge marks from the door onto the jam and then get that uh, chiseled out. This is the door we'll be installing, and this piece of wood on the top I cut to the same length as the uh, side of the jam, and then I used it as a template, so I've marked where the hinges are, I've marked where the top of the door is, and now I'm gonna take this over to the jam pieces, or at least the uh, hinge piece, and transfer those lines over. So we have those lines transferred over to our jam, so we know where the hinges go. And now we just need to um, chisel out some space for the hinges. So there was a little bit of drama earlier. Um, I was doing it wrong. So I was going to have a left-handed door instead of a right-handed door. And that would be bad for our setup. That would put us back in the same situation we were in the beginning with the original uh, first door that was put on the basement when this house was constructed. So I paused and then I realized I needed to... Um, get the table saw out and cut these boards down to accommodate not just the door and have a stop in here, but also to put a kerf in there so we can do our weather stripping. You see that uh, little kerf there with the, uh, with the saw blade. So we've got our, our weather stripping here, this stuff. And so we'll be putting that in the kerf and we'll have a nice seal if I were to go back and do this the old way, we would probably use copper sheets and that would be expensive and time consuming and I don't have the skills to do that. So we're gonna just go with some kerf style weather stripping and uh, hang this door and see if we can make it work. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna transfer over those hinge lines and the hinges will go in here 
inside that uh, that cutout, and um, we'll go from there. So I'm going to start chiseling. Ugh, I've got a knot. We have our hinges in place, and uh, they seem to work pretty good. Give ourselves a little bit of room there for the weather stripping. And we have ourselves some room down here at the bottom for a threshold. Now I just need to measure off for the top piece to span across. And uh, we're going to give ourselves a, about an eighth of an inch reveal on the uh, back side of that door between the piece of the wood and the door itself. So that should give us some... Uh, some space for some latches and things, and then we'll be ready to set this thing up. Okay, it is late in the day, and here is our door with a new jam. I tapped uh, four screws in either side of that uh, top, and um, we're ready to shim this thing in and get it attached. and. We've got it shimmed in and secured. We are back for day two and we come back to our uh, project this morning and looking more closely we see that we are not level on the top on our door. We were in a hurry to secure things last night so we put the uh, you know we screwed the the jam into the wall but uh, looks like we need to do some adjustments here and um, it appears that the left side of the door jam is on, uh, it looks like the, the stone on the bottom is probably not level. Um, that's the only thing we can, we can figure out that uh, it's just an uneven surface that those uh, boards are standing on. And so we're gonna shave a, a quarter inch off of the left door jam off the bottom. It's going to be the easiest way to get this thing trimmed up. So we're going to do that right now. So we have our door shimmed in. The shims are cut back. And we are going to use some foam to attach this thing to the brick.